LMS side of things because there was there were some um, things I need to address before it gets integrated. Um, I think everything should be more or less ready now to move forward. This is a complex issue and we had to discuss a few things with the integration uh, team. This is basically what we achieved with uh, H5P. So right now, uh, previously, uh, in order to support custom styles for H5P packages, you need to include a custom CSS file. But now uh, there is a new way to do it that is more practical for admin that uh, is using a new global setting where you can put the custom uh, uh, code uh, CSS in there. Um, we are now able to retrieve that uh, custom uh, styling and apply it to the uh, mobile applications to ensure consistency. Um, so yeah, and this is a very basic screenshot because you can see, but you can see that we changed the uh, color of the start button. I think it was uh, white and now it's yellow. Uh, one of the new things that we added in the 4.4 version of the Moodle app is supporting blog posts. Um, and now we have included the support for doing it offline. offline. Uh, the creation, uh, updating, or uh, also the deletion of uh, blog posts. So, as you know, one of the main important features of the mobile application is working offline, and this is why every time we add a new feature that makes sense to work offline, so we add the offline support. Um, yeah. So, in terms of quiz improvements, um, the community, specifically the Open University team, have the, um, several developers. They have improved um, several aspects of the quiz activity module, specifically uh, the way that uh, quiz uh, grades are displayed and also the way that attempts are displayed. And in the screenshot, you can see the new, uh, sorry, the new quiz grades. No, it's not the way they, 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 they are displayed, sorry. Um, this is a new feature that, that as part of a quiz, you can have multiple grades for the different pages. OK, so um, we are adding uh, support to display this for the students when they are reviewing an attempt. Um, yeah, for the other quiz uh, improvements, specifically the attempt summary and the new question type, uh, Danny is going to do a demo. So please, Danny, go ahead. You can share your screen. Thanks, Juan. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Dani Palau and I'm one of the developers in the apps team. I'm going to share my screen now. So as you probably know, the, this is how the list of attempts look like in LMS now in 4.4. They moved from a table view where you could see the list of attempts to this card view now. So we uh, took this change to also redesign how the attempts look in the app. We used to display them as in LMS using a table, but now uh, we are using a different approach from LMS. And since most of our users are using a mobile phone instead of a tablet, we decided to go for an accordion approach. Please, please let me know if this screen is too small for you to see it properly, and I will disable the phone mode. So. Uh, when a, user, a student opens a quiz, we will see the list of attempts and the, what we think is the most important information, that's the attempt status and the grade, if the attempt has a grade and the, the student can see it. And if the student wants to see more information, they can just expand. And here they have all the information along with the boot button to review the attempt. And they can just keep expanding the ones they are interested in. So, uh, well, if the, we also change how the quiz grade, the final grade is displayed, but now you cannot see it because there is an attempt in progress. You will see it later. So uh, this quiz has an ordering question type. This is how it looks like in the app. As you can see, the layout is quite similar as in LMS. You have these arrows to move the items uh, by click or by keyboard because of accessibility. One of the differences from LMS is that in LMS, you can drag the whole element to move it. In the app, you cannot. If I try to drag this element, nothing happens because this would interfere with the scroll. If you have a long list, you should be able to scroll the list. And if you want to drag an element, you need to use 
this icon at the left side. Okay, if I click this icon, then I can drag the item and leave it wherever I want. As I said, I can also use these arrows here to move it. And if the user is using a keyboard, they can use the keyboard also to move the elements. So I'm going to submit this quiz now. So you can see the, the results. The, the layout, layout in the results is quite similar as in LMS. We use similar colors. We use the same icons. Okay, So here you can see which you got it right, which ones you got wrong, along with the feedback, and so on. And now that I finished the attempt, yeah, I can see now that the highest grade in my quiz, is, is, this is the grade I have for the quiz, as in LMS, is now displayed above the attempts instead of below. And if this grade has been overridden or whatever, you can also see this information in here too. 